assembly complete with music and prayers. The school has been saved, but by more than prayer alone. Parents and alumni dug deeply into their pockets and raised $1.2 million in cash. The school got a guaranteed loan of another $1.5 million. Students were glad to be back in school. I was scared for a minute, but, you know, it's God made this school, and it's just, I think it's great to be back, and I'm glad I'm back. And I'm glad God came through again. I'm really glad that we could reopen, and I was, we were, had um, a chance to get into Farmington if it was to close, and I'm glad I didn't have to go to Farmington. One fear of school officials was that many kids wouldn't return their parents having chosen to send them to other schools in light of the financial problems. After a head count, they said Briarcrest lost only five students, but gained six new ones. That makes the student population now 1,474, up one from last semester. Director Joe Clayton told the group the future is secure if support continues. Our plans are for the future, and the only thing to prevent that would be for you not to stay with us. So the remainder of the school year is certain. What the future holds, however, will depend on the parents' continuing support, Clayton says. But he believes the worst is over, and Briarcrest has proven it can survive. Bill Anderson, 13 Eyewitness News. Briarcrest leaders say all private schools face an uphill battle in the years ahead because of declining enrollment, increasing costs, and the struggle to provide a quality educational program. But they feel there will always be a need for schools like Briarcrest.